Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js. Today we are going to log in with GitHub using the Firebase. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have logged in with the GitHub profile because we have to set up the use uh, like client ID and the secret key, right? If I go in here, we have a sign-in methods, authentications, sign-in methods, add new provider, we have this github account right so if i go and just check the github so here we have in uh, i need to enable this github account okay so here we have enabled this github account okay so how to retrieve all this informations in the github right the client id and the client secret i will going to tell you go to your project go to your github right so here we have the settings button so here we have the settings right go to the settings okay in settings we have a developer settings okay go to the developer settings now we have to new github auth app right here you need to type your app name that is uh, you can name you can name a uh, demo app demo app you can make it and here you need to add anything you can paste here the home page url so currently my home page url is this one so i'm going to copy and paste this one right after this one so you have the callback url so firebase will provide you the callback url right this is the callback url you need to copy this one and add it over here callback url right and uh, this is done okay webhook we don't require okay so you need to add all this then uh, create app demo app already is taken that is we can make this one In demo 8092, this should not be taken. Demo app demo 7. Let's try to save it. So you can see that registration is successful. Okay, so here we have the client ID, and I need to create the generate the here. You can see that. This is callback URL we have added, right? And uh, where is client secret key? I think it is here, client secret. Generate new client secret. You need to click on that, generate. It will generate your client secret. You need to copy this one and the client to this one. If I go and check this one, you need to add client ID and the client secret and make it safe, right? After doing this process, go to our code. So here we have this one, okay? So I'm going to log in with the GitHub, sign in with GitHub. It will open the pop-up okay so the pop-up is open and you can see that welcome email and this is my profile pic you can see that here we have my profile pic if i go and check my settings so profile pic is this one i'm going to change this profile pic right now upload photo so i will make it the zambrin image okay so currently I'm making this Zambrin, Zambrin image and you can see the profile image is updated, right? So if I go and check logout and see that one, sign out, sign in with GitHub again, this one. So you can see that again the image is this one, maybe the uh, this is updated or not, I don't know. There is any update profile. So it's updated and let me select the profile which needs to be di uh, display that is names should be uh, Rajnikanth okay and uh, select the email tell us the bio why don't it's uh, you ha you have set your email address to be private to toggle email privacy go to email settings Mm, primary not visible emails so i'm going to add email address so i will make the email address to be visible that is magento developer right i'm going to copy and paste this email to be public add adding magento developer already is in use okay so i'm going to add my another email to make it public gmail.com okay so it's gonna be like add use keep my uh, keep my email as in practice private no okay so this checkbox i have made 
is now public okay go to the profile settings now select my verified email okay and the bio in the name is Rajni Khan okay so I'm going to add this name okay I'm going to update the profile okay my profile is updated Rajni Khan and all that if I go and check this one again with the logout with sign logout this one and now you can see that the email and the password email and this one is again not completed so let's go to the code level okay so here we have this one so if haven't you haven't checked out my previous video of the google authentication google authentication with the firebase you can go and check one i have explained all the things but here there is only one change that you have to do is github auth provider replace google auth provider with the google github auth provider so where we have the Google, I have replaced with the GitHub auth provider, right? So here we have the GitHub auth provider, okay? So rest of the functionality is the same, right? I need to check what the data is going from the result user. I need to take a console log over here. So what the data is coming from the result. So let's make a uh, this one to be up, like what the data will be giving up in the result. So I need to update that one test okay i'm going to save this and rerun this one go and check you can now you can see that this is coming let's have a look of this one why f12 is not working go to the console this is the object this is the object now you can see that in the user we have access token and we have a display name is null email is null and because these these things are null over here and this avatar photo url is coming provider is firebase so you can see that the display name and this one is coming null so that's why it's not picking up right so you need to uh, maybe it's not setting up you can just check uh, whether it is set or not and you can see that the image is coming the e email and everything is coming over here. now this is how you are able to log in with the github with the help of the firebase okay so this is a simple code you can check my previous video just you need to replace with the this one G google auth provider with the github auth provider and it will run as perfectly as previous one okay any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day